Did you know that human blood vessels put together are more than 100,000 km long, seven times the diameter of our planet? Each day, 100,000 heart beatings are necessary to feed all our organs. Vessels are life. 17 million people die each year from vessel damages caused by cardiovascular diseases. It is the leading cause of death worldwide. In our lab, we study the formation of new blood vessels called angiogenesis and aim to identify proteins involved in this process. The purpose of this video is to show how an in vivo model and an innovative 3D microscopic technique allow us to understand how these proteins act on vessel formation. Because it is transparent and its vascular system develops in less than 48 hours, zebrafish is a perfect model to study vessel formation. We use transgenic fish lines that allow us to observe vessels in green. Male and female fishes are separated the night before the coupling. On the next day, once reunited, females lay eggs, which are fertilized by the males. The eggs are collected in a petri dish with egg water. We inject in their binocular loop with a capillary needle, a synthetic molecule which inhibits the expression of our protein of interest. We let the embryo grow up and become larvae. Then, the anesthetized fish is molded in an agarose gel in a thin capillary to be imaged with a lactate fluorescence microscope. This microscope allows for the acquisition of large and living samples by optical sectioning with low photobleaching and phototoxicity. The chamber is perfused to allow proper temperature for the fish vascular development during 24 hours. In this example, the image analysis shows that the inhibition of our protein of interest leads to abnormal vessel morphogenesis in the fish embryo, blocking then blood perfusion. This 3D Alive model represents a tool to understand how vessels are regulated and to identify new theoretic targets to cure cardiovascular diseases.